deposit. The most fragrant herbs and needed sun. to a silken soft. You wouldn't believe how much you gave me. Well, I hope you gave as good as you got. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. Do you think they'll be back soon? I need a new dress. Fresh bread. The juiciest meat from Greens. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well. Thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. The men of the Rock are Lord Cook's private guard. <laughs> he must be a generous man. The amount they spend when they come calling. The men of the Rock are Lord Cook's private guard. A word of advice, Traveller. You see pots like this around town, you leave them alone. Unlike where you come from, fresh water's in short supply around these parts. We store what little rainwater we get in these pots for, well, not a rainy day, but you know what I mean. A word of advice, traveler. You see pots like this around town. What was all that crashing and banging? Why is the tavern shut? The guard I heard. It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. The inn's a mess of blood-soaked splinters, thanks to you. The least you can do is let us clean up in peace. I told the guard those soldiers started it. There'll be no more trouble. Huh? Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men. Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. 
They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere. And pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then. Just as you arranged. And put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. <sighs> of course. Why is the tavern shut? Turn around, friend. There's nothing back there but a pack of bloodthirsty beasts.
I'll take it from here. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord! What is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both! That wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice, don't you? Graybeard, you were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly, buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. 
the men of the Rock taking Crystal's men for the common folk and conspiring with the Royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been... Encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the... Ugh! Here, wear this. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that... Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Oh, me lost the land to his Achilles. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> mm. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. What is it now? You and I... What? Alas. Still? Ours is a blessed corner of the Velcroy. At least they did. So, how very fitting. Of course, 
There's simply no other way. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. I hear you and the Master are working together now. Glad to have you on board. I hear you and the Master are working together now. Glad to have you on board. I've never even forged a butter knife before. <sighs> Perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. Hmm, neither would I. Oh, wait. Are you Clive? Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm afraid not. Never mind. Thought I'd ask. It was that or pack my bags. Sorry to grumble, Clive. I know you're a busy man. I'll get by, somehow. Oh, so I'm too. He wants me to. I'm, I'm, Never mind. I could give you a hand if you like. I know how busy the Briar's Kiss has been, and that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind the spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. The way I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lupor's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling in the dark, I suppose. Now, who to speak to first? Well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher, and anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. Let's hope that someone says something useful. Trust Lubor to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. I'd better get to it. The finest fabric! Take a sniff, good sir. Needed to a silken softness. Like eating a... Welcome, sir. What can I do you for? A question, if you don't mind. I need to know what makes a good carving knife. You a blacksmith or something? Something, I suppose. Fair enough. Knives, is it? First and foremost, it's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat no problem, but sinew dulls cheap steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. So a knife that stays sharp. Hmm. Makes sense. Put a knife with an edge like Odin's razor in my hand, and I'll make short work of any carcass. Put a knife with an edge like Odin's razor in my hand, and I'll make short work of any carcass. Plates and pots! Holes and basins! The baths are, um, uh, closed for scrubbing. Please bear with us a little longer. The baths are, um, uh, closed for... All those years of toil! Every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place! Are you all right? The baths are closed. Leave me be. On second thought, perhaps you are just what I need. Might your services be for hire? That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. 
the water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you, go to Dusnoff Terraces. Tell me what you find there. Oh, well then my goose is cooked. Or tragically overboiled at any rate. Oh. You, I'm, sir, I, I, I'm... All right. I'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The smell of sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very life, is at stake. In all my years tending the baths, I've never known anything like this to happen. Please, find out what's gone wrong. In all my years tending the baths, I've never known anything like this to happen. Please. Hanging lantern! Ha! They've opened the gate! Lubor was true to his word. Well, we can make our way back to the Fang now, at least. Yeah, but... What is it? Me no move for chatter. Sorry. Do you mind if I ask your trade? Hunter, why? I have a question. Can you tell me what makes a good carving knife? I assume you use one out in the field. Oh. Um... Has to be able to put up with some punishment. Can't be dealing with a brittle blade, not while I'm on the hunt. If your knife snaps every time you use it, you'll be spending coin as fast as you make it. Times are hard enough as it is. Thank you. I won't keep you any longer. All business, eh? Man after my own heart. So, a carving knife should be hard wearing and hold an edge. Hardly a revelation. Let's hope Sava had better luck than I did. Can't you see I'm busy? Unless you'd like a closer look at my knives. Can't you see I'm busy? Unless you'd like a closer look at my knives. You're a friend of Lubor's, aren't you? Everyone's getting their crystals now, if that's what you're worried about. So, let's leave it there, shall we? No sense making a mountain out of a molehill. Not now the vermin are gone. Finally, we'll be able to get what's owed us. You're a friend of Lubor's, aren't you? Everyone's getting their crystals. We should get going soon. What do you want? Do you have water? Directions? Either take this road to the Fang, or piss off back the way you came. What do you want? Directions? Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubo? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kuka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Talmeki and Walut are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. My man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kupka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan.
Drake's fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? Come on, girl. The gate's open now. We can press on. Don't tell me you put down roots. Trader, are you? Seeking your fortune down in the golden sands of Dalamil? From mercantile stock myself, as happens. You'd never guess, but I was born just down the road in Dravosht. And like my old ma and pa, I've been wandering the world hunting Gilbard's blessing ever since. Reckon I might have found it, too. You've heard about the famous healing waters they got round these parts, right? Well, I'm thinking if I can find a little pool on my own, Dress it up a bit, lay on drinks and fancies and whatnot. I'd have a license to mint gill. Soothing your aches and pains with a grape in your gob and a glass in your hand. There's nothing people wouldn't pay. I do. Trader, are you? Seeking your fortune down in the gold. Broken down, you say? From the weight of its load? Aye. The guards are furious about it. You'd do well to steer clear. Well, if it's blocking the road, it'd be a wasted journey anyway. Broken down, you say? From the weight of its load? Aye. The guards are furious. Something awful's taken up residence in the springs. We'll turn back if you know what's good for you. Something awful's taken up residence in the springs.
Let's cool things down a bit. Let's hope it's enough to keep the baths from boiling. There he is. The man who saved my business. The, um, scrubbing is almost finished. We appreciate your patience. The, um, scrubbing is almost... I was hoping we'd be seeing you again. The baths grow more bearable by the moment. It won't be long now before we are back to business as usual. I'm glad to hear it. Now, tell me this. What did you find at the terraces? What threatened to make me a pauper? Not what I expected, that's for certain. You tell a fine story. That's not to say I don't believe you, though. Creatures made of flame, eh? That's something new to worry about. But I've burdened you with my worries enough already. Here, a small something by way of thanks. Right. It's high time I got back to work. With a little luck, the day might yet be salvaged. It's just as well I sent you to the terraces in my stead. It sounds like I'd have been burnt to a crisp. It's just as well. The, um, scrubbing is all... This town is truly blessed. The bustling markets, the healing waters, and all under the watchful eye. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Needed to a silken... Put a knife with an edge like Odin's razor in my hand. The finest fabrics! You wish to talk? Don't be a stranger. So, how'd it go? You learn anything useful, or should I be looking for a new trade? Only that a blade should be durable and stay sharp. But I don't see how that relates to the spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> I didn't have much luck either. All the cook said was that he needs his knives to be light. Too heavy, and they do his shoulder in. So we're no better off than when we started. Perhaps Lubor didn't mean anything with his Dalamil remark. But that can't be right. I've bandied enough words with the man to know that he chooses them carefully. No. We must be missing something. Something right in front of our noses, most likely. No doubt you're right, but I have to make a start soon. I can't put off making this knife forever. Agreed. Luba wouldn't like that much. Right. I've been trained to work iron. The cheap stuff, mind. But it's hardy enough if you don't hammer it too thin, and it sharpens up nicely with a bit of effort. Trouble is, it's either durable or it's light. Meaning someone is going to be disappointed. Forge Master Lubor, probably. Is there no one else you can turn to? Someone who knows their metals, perhaps? Eh. The other apprentice is no better than to help me with my test. But... Maybe there is someone I could turn to. A merchant. A favorite of Forge Master Lubor's who sells metals to tradesmen passing through the Valkroy. I bet she'd know a thing or two.
Who do you think those soldiers were in the inn? Friends of friends, I believe. Any luck? Or will you be needing help with your bags? Well, I asked her, but... <laughs> oh, you tell him. If you're looking to make a knife that will impress a master like Lubor, there are options. They're just not that viable. Featherlight adamantite knives will get passed from generation to generation, never needing so much as a lick of the whetstone. But adamantite ore is unique to ash, so it doesn't come cheap. And it's beyond my skill to handle. Unique to ash. Are there any materials unique to Dalamil? Something which could be mixed with iron to refine it. Make it lighter. What are you getting at? You said that Lubor trained you to work iron. Then that's what he'll expect you to use. But he would have known that it would either be too heavy or too brittle for a carving knife. Perhaps his Dalamil remark wasn't a riddle, but a hint. If it's cheap metal you're using, then there's always limestone, I suppose. Folk first settled Dalamil to get at her mineral deposits. And if you know the trick, it can be melted down in the furnace to drive out impurities from low-quality iron. Bloody hell! That must be it! I don't suppose you know the trick, do you? It's hardly my speciality, but I've been around enough blacksmiths to know how it works. Looks like I've got some learning to do. Clive, I, uh, hate to ask after all that you've done for me, but... The limestone? Fine. I can hardly abandon you now. Besides, I want to know if this is the answer to Lubor's little riddle. I can't thank you enough, Clive. You'll have no trouble finding limestone over in the terraces. The place is bloody made of it! Then I suppose I'll meet you back at the forge. Right you are. I'll see you shortly. So, do you crush it up, or just throw it in the furnace? Is no good. Is it true what I'm hearing? The finest fabric. Take a sniff, good sir. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. Yeah, have a taste. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Sweet incense. What what? Are you looking for something in particular? Here you are. My thanks. Here you are. An excellent choice. Here you are. My thanks. Fare you well. We should get going soon. Open now, we can press on. Broken down, you say, from the weight of its load. Unless you'd rather our men in Dalamil starved. The axle's gone, Captain. There's nothing I can do. 